intuitive healing. I am your intuitive leader and healer here today to illuminate what the Most High wants to share. I hope that you all are having a blessed and positive day. The message will be general, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you haven't already, please like, share, and comment. Also, subscribe if you would like to join the Lightwork family. I would love to have you. That is if the channel and content uh, resonates with you. So the energy I'm feeling today is a bit of anxiety. Um, I'm not sure why, but I'm just feeling like I'm forgetting something or there's something like looming over me, but I just can't uh, decipher what it is and why. So let's go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths and we'll tap in. Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus, Most High God, in the sanctions of your highest name, Lord, I thank you for your love, your guidance, your protection, and your peace. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what you would like for them to know at this time. Allow there to be none of me and all of you. I pray that the message will come out precisely as you would have it to. Please allow Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, and Archangel Raphael to be present to help us heal, to gain clarity, and for protection. Archangel Michael, please close the door on anything that is not of the highest bright light. Please and thank you. All right, y'all. So, I was led to start with the energy oracle which was on the bottom <laughs> Archangel Michael split the deck on boundaries so right away it has given me projection energy so we may be picking up on some energies being projected and yeah we got the envy with the angel of strength so someone that is envious of how strong you are how you're able to uh, I'm hearing handle this on your own whatever this may be okay let's tap So we have Archangel Raphael, Think Event, and Hostilities. So there's definitely a looming energy plotting. This is giving me an energy of something to do with the heart chakra with Archangel Raphael coming out man holding a coin on the bottom of the deck so this thinking man could be a king of pentacles type energy storm warning that may be trying to bring a storm taking action to bring some type of storm into your life to stop your blossoming abundance with the magician in the mirror and the world card there is an urgency for this person to do some type of manipulation Fail, I'm hearing, or some type of manipulation tactic to get to you before the cycle closes. And again, with the door to romance, they're also trying to stop some type of love interest from coming into your life. Please keep in mind that energy is fluid, so this could be a thinking woman. Uh, that's in this hostile energy trying to cause issues. Just take the energy as it resonates. 
Why is the empty man here, Holy Spirit? Why is the empty man here? The seed. And healer of the ages. So they're trying to be Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So you are being represented as the healer of the ages, a very empathic, loving, and healing energy that this person, this energy, I'm getting more than one energy. This person is trying to stop your ascension, trying to stop love from coming into your life, trying to stop abundance from coming into your life. They're just trying to stop you overall. Bottom of the deck is indecision, so they're trying to place some type of confusion spell over you so that you're not able to function at your best. Wow. Yeah, this is, I thought, storm warning. So they are trying to actively come towards you the way that this car shot out they're trying to come in fast to create a tower for the, you. You're being represented also by the angel of love. I, I figured that this has something to do with the heart, with love. They're trying to prevent you from connecting with your counterpart, the man holding the heart. Also trying to put you in this mind state of low self-esteem, trying to take away your personal power and confidence and trying to block this sun and door to value again. They don't want you to have love. They don't want you to have money. They don't want you to have confidence. They want you to be in financial constraints, very depressed and having anxiety. They don't want you to win. This person is going to go, going to go to great lengths to stop you from getting any anything. I'm hearing they don't want you to have anything. They want you to be completely hopeless, helpless, defenseless. They don't want you to have this new contract. Again. This came out when we split the deck. You're being called to set strong boundaries between yourself and this energy. Yeah, they want you to have anxiety. Whoa. Something that you're working on right now is going to bring this door to value. You're going to have a new opportunity coming in very soon if you haven't already. That's going to bring in a lot of abundance for you. I'm hearing uh, for someone that this person that's desperately trying to stop your finances is someone that you were pre uh, previously a partner with in some type of business or project that you are no longer working with. You cut ties with this person and you both went your separate way. And this person does not want you to reach a specific goal or I'm hearing followers. So there may be something online or social media that you earn more money with more followers or something to that effect or something related to clientele. Because this person is still working in the same industry. And they are one of your, they want to be a top, they're not a top competitor is what I'm hearing. But they are a competitor and they want to beat you. They want to be better than you. They want to have more clientele. So this person is deceptively coming towards you, trying to stop your money, I'm hearing. Be, I'm hearing, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit something about bad reviews on your site so they may be trying to sabotage your business by giving uh, false reviews on your company with the voice of the fifth shot for coming out speaking about speaking so they may be saying something online about your company to deter clientele that's for somebody what else is 
Okay, I'm being called to pull the next card. Adjacent possibilities. They know that you are going to have numerous opportunities. Whatever this skill is that you have, it's going to gain a lot of clientele, a lot of opportunities for growth, a lot of opportunities for uh, abundance for you. So they are really desperately trying to get to you in any way that you can. They can, I'm sorry. What else, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. With the solar plexus chakra coming out this way, they want to turn your, they want to have you in this very topsy-turvy emotional state where you're not believing in yourself. You're not confident. You're not able to make strong decisions. You're indecisive. You're going back and forth. They don't want you to feel confident. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, for some of you, this this energy hates your confidence. They hate that you're so confident. They hate that you're so good at what you do. They hate that you've moved on and healed from this your connection with this energy. And you're moving on to uh, calmer waters. You're moving, on. yeah. <laughs> you're on your spiritual journey. You're being led by the Most High God. And you've balanced out your energies. You've balanced out your shadows. You're mastering yourself. And you're headed towards the sun. And they are desperately at every turn going to try to stop it. I mean, after this person is giving me, I'm seeing a sprinter running in a race, like full force. This person is trying to do something like now, right now. Yeah. Man holding the coin. This person is trying to take your coin. They want your money. They want your clientele. They want your gifts. They want whatever they can take from you. With the community, there's more people than one involved. There's several different situations. I'm picking up on romance. I'm picking up on business. Um, but there's a community of people that are involved in some of these scenarios. Thinking woman with angel of balance on the bottom of the deck. Yes, there could be... Uh, Someone operating in feminine energy that's also trying to strategize how to keep you in balance. This woman doesn't like the fact that you are, I'm hearing, on an even kill. That means you're just, you're unmoved, you're unbothered, you're focused, and they can't get you to operate in a low vibration or out of character. You're too focused. Anything else from this one? Yeah. They want you to be in this anxiety, depressed, stressed. They don't want you to reach this Ten of Pentacles, like type of, I'm sorry, Ten of Cups, happy family energy. Let's get one more and then we'll get some tarot. Goddess of the Moon. They can't stand your intuition. They can't stand the fact that you see them coming. You see their moves. You know who they are. You guard yourself against these type of energies. Since you've been on your journey, the Most High God has been illuminating a lot to you about the people that were around you. Archangel Michael has been blocking these people out of your energy. And they simply can't stand the fact that you are 10 steps ahead of them. So they're desperate right now because they know that this cycle, if it hasn't closed already, it will be closing very soon. Okay, let's get some tarot. Woman holding the coin on the bottom of the deck. I'm not getting a positive energy from this. I'm getting the, I'm thinking that this is this thinking woman, this queen of pentacles in the reverse type of energy that is plotting, that wants what you have that doesn't want you to achieve. Yeah, this person doesn't, can't stand this angel of love. 
type of energy, this person that operates from the heart. They want this person to be in financial constraints. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's get some tarot. Yeah, we have Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You are very hardworking, very determined. You took the risk, I'm hearing, with this person that you were in partnership with and decided to go off on your own. Honestly, you took this person by surprise. They felt like you were very codependent previously, like you were very unsure of yourself, but they don't understand that the most high moved you away from that situation. You were guided to do that. Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This person is in heavy competition with you, trying to make themselves relevant, trying to see what you're doing, what you're producing, how you're doing it, what your target market is. They want to know everything about your business so that they can sabotage it. Be very sharp and careful with how you uh, disclose any information regarding your business. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is the energy that you need to operate in. Very smart, very strategic, very uh, clear-minded, very alert of who you're dealing with. Use your intuition when, when you're dealing with new clients. Um, this person may try to solicit your business uh, from a false account and may say that you didn't produce or just, I'm seeing like bad reviews and bad publicity for your company. So be very aware of that. For others of you, I'm seeing someone trying to connect with your potential partner uh, in a relationship or spreading some type of lies about you online, um, releasing photos of you from a pre previous relationship, just some type of slander to get the, the new person or this person that you are connecting with or will be connecting with. They're trying to turn them away from you. So they might release an old video of you, uh, pictures or something uh, with you, maybe something, they, a video they took of you when you were intimate with that person, something like that. They want to try to make you look like a person that you truly are not. So we have, wow. <laughs> this is... <laughs> We have the three of wands, the sun, the moon, the world, and the nine of cups. This is unbelievable. So this is you with the three of wands. Your back is turned to these energies. You're headed towards the sun, your wish fulfillment, your happiness. And these dark energies are being exposed, some of which are being exposed right now through this message. All of this stuff that they've been doing in the dark, all of this magic, deception, lies, deceit, and evil is being is being disclosed right now. And this cycle is being closed with these energies. And you will still be in your wish fulfillment. And it's falling right on top of this storm because the Most High is just calming that storm right on down and bring a tower in their lives. There's nothing they can do. This is your destiny. This is what the Most High planned and destined you to do and to be, and they can't stop it. And they just dig a bigger hole for themselves the more they try to come against you. Five of Wands, they are going to try, though. They're arguing. They want to fight. They want to drag you into drama. They want to stir up havoc in your life just because they're unhappy and unhealed. Ace of Pentacles. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity from the Most High God that they can't do anything about. Queen of Swords. Stay in this energy. Queen of Swords. Very sharp. Very alert. Anticipate moves. Understand what they're doing. Understand what their objectives are. Move strategically. Yeah, the tower. This is the Most High's tower. Who's going to top that? What are you going to do about that? 
your tower versus the 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 most highest tower it doesn't compare i'm hearing this tower is not even going to touch you that they're trying to bring in this stuff that they're trying to do to slander your name and defame your character is is not going to do anything but draw more attention to their character and who they really are and what their objectives are So, yeah, cleanse your energy because the projections are going to be heavy right now. They already uh, haven't come towards you yet. Continuously cleanse your energy. Return it to sender. I mean, multiple times a day. Because this person, like I said, their, their energy is very aggressive and antsy. And that's the anxiety I was feeling initially before the reading started. Holy Spirit says this message is true. They're trying to bring this betrayal to you. They're trying to stab you in the back once again. Ace of Swords, the Most High said this message is on point. This message is true. So be sure that you're cleansing your energy. That's very important. Don't allow yourself to get in a low vibration. When you get in a low vibration and you're angry or frustrated or, ang or upset or uh, depressed, these projections will attach themselves to you and put you in a, in a very low state. So make sure that you're continuously cleansing your energy. And bottom of the deck, what else would be best to close with than the Ten of Cups? Yes, this is destined for you. There's nothing... That they can do to stop it. So that was the reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. If so, please go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe. I would love to have you join the Lightwork family. Very important. Again, just make sure you're cleansing your energy. Make sure that you are returning that energy to sender. And go ahead and transmute that energy when they send it to you. Turn that negative into a positive because if they keep sending you all their power and you transmuting it it's just making you stronger and better so go ahead and thank the most high for that blessing transmute that energy and stay positive i'm going to go ahead and send this back but first we transmute any negative energy, negative intentions, any of that, we transmute it into love, light, and positivity. Most high God, we thank you for the messages. We return this energy to the divine to be transmuted into love, light, and positivity. Please and thank you. Ashay. Okay.